Hello everyone, it's Robert back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my home theater computer that I built about a month ago. I unboxed and reviewed all the parts on this home theater PC, so if you want to, you can check them out on my channel. Feel free to ask any questions or give suggestions about my computer. Let's begin by taking a look at the case. Here I have the NMedia PC 7000B. This is a great home theater PC case. On the front, there is a DVD bay, a spot for an optional mini display, USB 3, some audio ports, USB 2, a hard drive indicator, and power and reset buttons. On the right hand side of the case, you can see the two 120mm fans which are blowing air out of the case. <clears throat> On the other side is just a ventilation hole. At the back you can see the rear I.O. of my Gigabyte B75 motherboard, a power cable, HDMI and a Wi-Fi stick. So let's pop the roof and take a look inside. Like you can see, the case is crammed. I filled up almost every empty spot. The wiring is messy because there is no space for wires to go. First, mounted on top of my power supply, is the secondary 500GB hard drive, which I salvaged from an old computer. This is all the way back from 2008. Under the stock Intel heatsink, I have a Core i3-3220 processor. Right beside it is my MSI Radeon 6570 graphics card. So this is my main hard drive. This is the Samsung Spinpoint F3 1TB hard drive. Under the overhanging wires, I have two 4GB RAM sticks, each clocked at 1600 MHz. Under my secondary hard drive is my power supply. It's Firmaltec TR2 430W power supply. My optical drive was salvaged from an old computer. I should have bought a modular power supply, but they are expensive. So this is how the computer looks from the shelf. It looks pretty good like an oversized DVD player. I have Windows 8 installed, so let's see how long it takes to boot up. Meanwhile, let me show you my keyboard. This is the Logitech keyboard and trackpad together, so I can control the computer from the couch. Very convenient in my opinion. So there is Windows 8. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check out the unboxings and reviews if you're interested. Goodbye!